Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Melly. Welcome back to Melly's book. I do this every time. Welcome back to Melly's Yarn and Book Adventures. I don't know why I want to say book and yarn adventures, but that I always that's what I always do. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Melly. My channel is all about anything yarn, crochet, knit, and bookish related. Um, I'm not going to go into my whole what I'm about. If you're a returning subscriber, you already know, so I don't need to go into it. But I will say if you are looking for tutorials, I am not that channel. I am a channel based on bringing other um, crocheters, knitters, crafters, and uh, readers together to discuss, share, and basically just get to know each other. And, you know, with the love of books and crafting to bring us together. Um, the reason why, real quick, the reason why is because I am not... I use my desktop and I use my mobile phone to record. I do not have fancy camera equipment. I do not have a handheld camera or anything like that. Um, I cannot justify spending that money because I have kids I can use that money for fancy equipment um, on something else for my kids um, so there's that got that out of the way I welcome all kinds of crafters and all kinds of readers I don't care what you read I don't care what you craft are you a knitter are you a crocheter do you paper craft do you bead craft doesn't matter it's just the love of crafting I'm always looking to learn something new. So maybe there's something I can teach you or share with you. And maybe there's something you can vice versa share with me. So, and basically it's, you know, just to, sorry, my, I had a pop up. Anyway, basically it's, you know, whatever we can learn from each other and share with each other and, and so forth. Okay, on to the video. I recorded this video yesterday in my room on my phone and for some reason, YouTube would not process it. It uploaded and it but it would not process it for some way it just like was frozen. Um and that's the second time that's happened to me. So I kind of okay, what happened here? Like my what the heck? Did my child I'm sorry, like I'm looking at this and it's unraveling but why is it unraveling there's no end to it that's just really weird unless unless the yarn broke whatever my child like ruined it already whatever I can fix it anyway um yeah so there's that um so I'm going to just do the video again on my desktop. Yesterday I was upstairs in my room because it was, it had rained on Tuesday. It was still a little, it's chilly and my bones hurt in all honesty. My bones hurt. I have, I deal with a rheumatoid arthritis and um, as some of you may know, and sometimes I have flare ups and I'm actually having a flare up, but that doesn't stop me from crocheting. That actually helps me. So my, my hands don't get stiff. Anyway, have you guys ever had yarn that you purchased and you didn't know what to do with it? You had an idea or it's a, or it's a yarn you wanted to try out. Sorry guys, uh, I had to pause the video for a second because I had a phone call, but it wasn't an important phone call. Anyway, have you guys ever purchased yarn because you wanted to try it out online. I'm, okay, have you guys ever purchased a yarn from like say Ice or Hobie or Hobium or something that you couldn't get in store and you want to try it out and you weren't quite sure what to expect and then when you get it, even though other people have used it, like you've seen videos of people using it, recommending it, but you weren't quite sure what it was all about and you get it and then you're like, oh, like really, oh. Um, it's not that you don't like it, it just wasn't 
construct it the way you thought it would be. Well, that happened to me. I have been all summer long um, eyeing the Ice Yarns pastel, pastel Cotton Pastel. I want to say pastel, but it's pastel, pastel, pastel cotton. And a lot of people have recommended it. Um, Krista and I think Jan from Jan Carruthers Urban Gypsy Crochet. She used it in a beautiful like sleeveless shell shirt she made. And I actually asked her about it. And she said it was uh, really nice to work with. So I got it. And when I got it, I looked at it. And I'm like, oh crap, what am I going to make with this? I don't want to make a shirt. Because it's kind of like a chain type construction. Like it's cotton, but it's kind of got like a chain woven through it. And it's kind of, um, I don't even know how you would call it. But you guys know what it looks like. Like, really, you do. I'm sure. Um, and I didn't have an intended purpose for it. It was more of, I'm going to order a package because I want to try it. Since I wanted to... Spend no more than $20 on shipping and I figured the one pack I was ordering I couldn't justify spending I think it's like $9 or something on shipping for one pack of yarn whatever anyway so um I ordered it well a couple days ago I'm sure you guys if you follow me you know, on Instagram or Facebook I'm sure you guys have seen pictures already but the other day was talking to me and I'm starting my Christmas projects. Yes, my yarn talks to me. I'm sure it talks to you guys too. It tells you what you, it wants to be. And sometimes I ignore it. But I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, you know what? I want to crochet. I had just finished I ba the baby hats for my, the baby hat and scarf for my neighbor. And I wanted to do something, but I didn't want to work on anything like my big project I'm making for my dad, which is a blanket. And I didn't want to make another hat and scarf set because I just made two. Like, I'm hat and scarf set. Well, three, technically, if you count the baby one. I'm hat and scarf set out. Crocheted out for right now. And I'm not going to keep making them numb if I'm not, haven't sold them yet. Like, then I'll just pile up. Like, I already have piles. Anyway, um, it told me I want to be a virus shawl. Well, I have never made a virus shawl. And I was intimidated by it because of the way it looks. It's actually easier than it looks, but it did give me some issues because I followed a YouTuber and I printed out a pattern that she used, which is not the one from Revelry, but it's literally the same. Because the one from Revelry, the lady, I think she's from Germany, she doesn't have a written pattern. She has like a, a chart and then she does like the videos, but there's no written pattern for it. So I found a pattern that was simple. However... I followed the video and I think it only went to like row 10 and then I continued the pattern or row for a row 12 and then I continued the pattern from the written pattern but then after row 15 I was confused because I'm like okay what's the repeat where does the repeat start and so I was like really stressed like I watched videos about it and I'm like okay where's the repeat for some reason I was looking at this pattern as written pattern and I'm reading because the person who writ the, wrote writ the, the person that had written created the written pattern or this specific one that I was using under each row it said this row is like this row and this row but longer well that confused me I wasn't I should not have been paying attention to that but that's what I was somehow doing I was trying to figure out well this row is like this but then whatever so I went to Facebook and I went to the Secret Yarnery page and I threw out an SOS. Can somebody tell me what the last row of the repeat is so I know where to start from? Again. And basically somebody said, well, everybody's like, oh, check out this person, check out Fiber Spider, check out Bella Coco. And that was all fine and dandy. But what I really needed, and I did do that, what I really needed because it still wasn't clicking. What I really needed was someone to say, this row or this stitch of this row is the last 
row of the four row repeat. And then you start again. So somebody actually did, I think the, the person that did do it realized what my issue was. So they were like, the last row of the four row repeat is the double crochets with the chain ones in between. Where you double crochet in every stitch of the previous row, but the uh, chain one in between each stitch. But you don't skip any stitches or anything. And that's what I needed to know. Then I went back into my written pattern. And I'm like, okay, I count it back. Well, row 15 was the last row of that stitch. So I counted one, two, three, four, and then I took my virus shawl and I looked at it and I was like, okay, and it clicked and I got it. And then I went back and I made notes in the pattern like it's 12, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's the last four that I'm using just to make sure I stay on track. The last four rows within the written pattern. And I got it. And this is what I have so far. I think this is my third second or third ball this is what i have i don't know if you guys can see well but this is what i have isn't it pretty this one is for my mom but isn't it pretty i'm pretty proud of myself um and i'm using a size uh 4.5 millimeter hook however i am really 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 upset because um this is a brand new hook Brand freaking new. Bought it on Monday. Can you guys see that? I had to glue it. Because I'm crocheting. And I'm not even. A, I wasn't even holding it tight. But it literally came out of the bamboo thing. And when I put a little dot of hot glue on the bottom of the metal part. To stick it back in. It wouldn't go in. So what I did was I kind of like. Put a little bit of glue around the edge. to And kind of like smoothed it stuck it in and then stuck some some a uh, dot of glue and kind of like went like that to hold it i don't care i mean i only pay like a dollar something for it with coupons and discounts and stuff so whatever i'm really mad though because hello i just bought it it shouldn't have happened but it was probably just defected with the glue that glues it in whatever it doesn't affect my crochet at all whatever the other thing I like this yarn. I will most likely purchase it again. I'll probably make another virus shawl with it if I buy it again. Um, I have to make my mother-in-law a... I'm going to make her a shawl too. But I don't know what to make. If I should do a virus shawl with that peach and gray yarn I bought. Or if I should do a cakes and candle. I think I'm going to do a cakes and candle because it's a little bit of an easier pattern. Well, I don't actually... After, after I watch Krista from The Secret Yarnery do it. Then I can look at the pattern and be like, okay, I got to do this one. With this one, I actually have to make sure that what row am I on. Like, I'm still, like, learning to be able to memorize the pattern. So, there's that. Um, and I'm making my dad his linen, sti linen stitch slash moss stitch, however you want to call it, blanket, in the Christmas colors. But besides that, um, yeah. That's about it. That's what my yarn told me it wanted to be. Does your yarn talk, talk to you? Does it tell you what it wants to be? I've had yarn sitting for years. Not years. Okay, not years. I've had yarn sitting. And it's... I had bought it with intentions of making... Like, with an idea in mind. And then... Not doing what I wanted. Or what I had in mind to do with it. Because... For whatever reason. Um... Yeah, for whatever reason, I just didn't make it because it wasn't the right thing to make. Like, I bought the Amazing Lace yarn from Lion Brand that was on clearance in my job to make socks. And it decided it didn't. I, I, I don't want to do socks now with it. I think I'm actually going to use it. Maybe I'll make another virus shawl with it in, like, alternating colors. Who knows? Does that happen to you guys? Like, do you buy some? Like, like I said, buy something. Know what you're going to make with it and then decide that's not what it, it wants to be. Or am I the crazy one? I think I'm the crazy one. Um, so yeah, that's about all that's been going on in my life with crochet. Not reading anything. My Kindle died and I haven't charged it yet. So, um, I start reading Crazy House from James Patterson on the bus the other day, but... 
that didn't work out. I'm not feeling it. Not that it's not a good book. That's just not the book that I need to read right now. And then I took a Heartwood box on the bus this morning, and I was reading that. And I think that's what I'm going to jump into. <coughs> I have, um, when I read, uh, I have ebbs and flow of the type of books I like to read. Like, I read Cozy Mysteries for a really long time. And then I'll be like, oh, I'm tired of Cozy Mysteries. Like, I have, I read by my, like, I read by my mood. What am I in the mood to read? I'm in some mood to. Blah, 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 blah. I'm in the mood right now to read something spooky, but not like horror spooky. Just something like ominous, eerie. Maybe because it's Halloween. And Crazy House wasn't really eerie. And Heartwood Box kind of is because you're like, okay, what the heck is going on in this town? Like, why is it weird? So I think I'm I'm gonna continue with that. Um. Yeah, so that's about it. Uh, not doing a question. Okay. Yes. I guess huh, I guess you could say my question of the week video, which is not, like, I'm not going to title it question of the week, obviously, if you've seen the video already. I'm going to title it, Does Your Yarn Talk to You? And that's the question of the week. Does your yarn talk to you and tell you what it wants to be? Or does it sit there silently for a long time and then all of a sudden you'll just get this niggling I guess you could say to go grab this yarn and make something specific that you weren't even thinking about making like the virus show where I had no clue what I wanted to do with that yarn had an idea that I was going to make something wearable but didn't know what it was and then I'm sitting here like trying to I wasn't even really thinking about it. I was more like, what can I do next? What can I start that's not a large project? And I hear, virus shawl, virus shawl, cotton yarn, cotton yarn, ice yarn, ice yarn. So I should actually be working on my son's pullover sweater, but I'm not feeling it. I, I really should finish it, though. But I think it was all the counting and stuff that put me off. But after I'm done the virus show, I'll probably do that. I'll work on that some, a little bit. So I'll work on that, and then I'll work on my dad's blanket. They'll be the two things I make. Because my son's like, I think it's something to do with constructing it. Like sewing up the, um, sewing up the two sides and then doing the sleeves. Because I'm almost done the front panel. The back panel's done. The front panel needs to be done. Or vice versa. Whichever way he, whatever. Because obviously whatever I may put the hood on I don't know I'm just not into that um maybe because it's just so easy I don't know it could have been done already but I started other stuff but that's it um for now let me have a sip I found this really really good coffee in the supermarket the other day that's in my neighborhood it's Nescafe Cafe de Ola. Oya? And it's cinnamon. It's instant coffee, but it's cinnamon. And it's really good. I guess you could say, like, during the holidays, you have cinnamon flavored coffee anyway. Uh, spice flavored coffee, which is the same. But this is really good coffee. So that's what I'm drinking. Cinnamon flavored coffee with a little bit of sugar and half and half. So that's it for now, guys. I guess I will talk to you later. Why is my... I think my battery is on my mouse is dying. So, I will talk to you guys. Why is this not... It's like frozen. I hope this whole video recorded because I will be so mad. Anyway, leave a comment below. Answer the question. Does your yarn talk to you? Let me know what you're working on. Reading. Crafting. And have a good Thursday. Bye, guys.